Matt in the kitchen, pumpkin waffles, take one. Uh, I'm Matthew Lovely, I'm the head chef here at Trek High School. I've been here for about nine years now. Um, today we're going to make a delicious portable uh, seasonal pumpkin waffle here. Something delicious, healthy, simple ingredients, something you can pop in your jersey for a good bike ride. So we're going to start with some awesome ingredients here. Uh, got a little flour, got some fresh pumpkin, a little bit of allspice, cinnamon, sugar, we got a little bit of walnuts and cornmeal, uh, and we got some maple syrup. Kind of a simple recipe, we're going to use a little almond milk heated up here. We're going to add all of our dry ingredients and try to get the almond milk to break down our gluten just a little bit. Um, we're going to do a batch here, it's the 36 count, so we got about 10 cups all-purpose flour. We're going to start with that, we're going to kind of just dig a little hole and put the rest of our ingredients in there. Um, along with that, we got a little bit, about a tablespoon of sugar, uh, about a teaspoon of clove, a uh, teaspoon of uh, allspice, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. So we're going to dump that right on in. You're going to use about, not all of this, we're going to use about a half a cup of the pumpkin. We're going to kind of slap that in the center there with that. All right, along with the pumpkin, just for a little grit, it kind of keeps the, the waffle stabilized there. We're going to add about a cup of the uh, cornmeal here. Okay. Along with that, we got some delicious chopped walnuts. Gives a little nice texture in there. And we're going to add about a half a cup of that as well. Uh, the key to this recipe is well, one last shot here, some maple syrup. I'm just gonna drizzle that right into the center of our flour. Um, the key that I was saying is uh, breaking down the gluten of all this. So we got a, a warmed up almond milk. Um, we're using roughly about two and a half quarts. So we're gonna add this nice and slow. You wanna reserve just a little bit for the end because it might not take it all. So we're gonna about add about two-thirds of what we got there and try to get that all mixed up. Um, you do not want to start with the cold or else you'll see it just doesn't break down that flour as gluten. And then we're just going to simply make little dough balls out of it. We've got an awesome waffle machine there. The other key here is to make sure you butter your balls thoroughly. So I like to butter the machine, get a decent amount of butter on the machine so you don't get any sticking going on. You should have fun with this. This is a fun project. You're feeding nothing but a bunch of cyclist freaks like yourself. And we found the simpler the recipe, the easier to digest. The less going on, the less coming out. It packs up just enough carbs so that you need that little extra kick in the pants for your ride to get you through. So you're getting a dose of about 110 carbs per waffle. So you got two of those in a ride, 200. 20 calories just when you need them. Depending upon the ride, it's going to depend on how many waffles you're going to pack. If you're doing a crazy 175 mile across Wisconsin, you might really want to load up on these waffles. I like to just give them a little kiss of the cinnamon, clove, and sugar right at the end there. <laughs> From balls to waffles to delicious. <laughs>